Hello guys, this is Raven from Digi Integrity. Welcome to Tech News episode 137. Facebook on WhatsApp is reportedly testing a technology to independently encrypt chat backups in the cloud, which has been enabled in its most recent Android beta update. You need to choose a password that will be used to encrypt your future backups. It is always needed to insert the password when you restore a backup, otherwise you won't be able to restore your chat string. World Emoji Day is being celebrated today on July 17th and while new emojis wait approval to join the next major update Emoji 14.0 the public beta preview of iOS 15 allow fun emoji customization iOS 15 also offers a nine new emoji stickers read on to find out about the next set of emojis that will arrive on your smartphone either by end of this year or early next year It is more than a year since Twitter launched voice tweets offering users an option of tweeting a spoken message of up to 140 seconds in length. The company has now addressed accessibility concerns by offering caption for voice tweets. Now the captions for voice tweets have been finally landed. Now when you record a voice tweet, captions will automatically generate and appear. To view the captions on web, click the CC button. Reliance Retail has acquired a 40.95% stake in Justile for rupees 3497 crore Indian rupees. Reliance Retail will take an open offer to acquire an additional 26% stake in Justile. Out of 40.95% stake, the Reliance Industry Arm has received a preferential allotment of 2.12 crore equity shares. Korean tech giant Samsung can boost a wide range of business segments that put it up there as one of the largest business in the world if the totality of the business is considered. The company offers its latest high capacity three door convertible refrigerators to the Indian market with extended cooling features. The 2021 Samsung three door convertible refrigerator offers fast cooling of food and liquid content using the power cool and freezing technology. A 4 liter water dispenser is also attached to the refrigerator offering chilled water on the go. With without opening the refrigerator Redmi 9 power model with 6GB RAM and 128GB storage will now be available for rupees 13499 instead of its previous retail price of rupees 12999 Redmi 9A model with 3GB RAM and 32GB storage can now be purchased for rupees 7799 instead of rupees 7499 following the price hike The handset have already available at increased price on both online and offline stores Realme will be hosting an event on July 23rd at 12:30 p.m. where it will launch a host of wearables. The event will see the launch of two smartphones, Realme Watch 2 and Watch 2 Pro, as well as three wireless earphones such as Realme Buds Wireless 2, Buds Wireless 2 Neo and Buds Q2 Neo. Of course, we already knew that the Watch 2 Pro and Buds Wireless 2 Neo will be launching on July 23rd. That has been listed on Amazon for the same. We can expect the other three wearables to be available via Amazon India too. This event is is been hosted the same day as the Poco F3 GT India launch which is a part of the portfolio of Realme's archival Xiaomi and Realme is all set to announce the Realme GT Master Edition series on July 21st in China according to the reports we will have two phones such as GT Master Edition and the GT Explorer Master Edition today the company confirmed that the latter will come equipped with the Snapdragon 870 chipset Realme Pad will have a dual tone finish and thick bezels around the screen. It will feature single camera on both the front and the back. The tablet will also have a stylus that will be the part of the package. Two highlight features that have defined the trajectory of headphones and earbuds are active noise cancellation and wireless connectivity. These two features seems to impact the pricing of headphones and earbuds generally. Bolt Audio, a fast rising audio company, has announced a new offering to its Indian customer. The Bolt Audio Pro Base Anchor wireless headphones comes with an active noise cancellation, wireless connectivity, and several other features that guarantee consumer satisfaction for its starting price of rupees three thousand nine ninety nine, that is fifty three dollars. The Bolt Audio. Pro Base Anchor Wireless Headphone is all-in black headphone with a strong bass output courtesy of its large 40 mm drivers. It also supports multiple voice assistants like Google Assistant and Siri and boosts up to 30 hours of entertainment courtesy of its strong lithium battery. The US President Joe Biden has said on Friday that social media networks are killing people by allowing the spread of misinformation about coronavirus vaccines. More than 99% of COVID-19 deaths and 97% of hospitalizations are now among people who have not been vaccinated, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Biden comments come after a White House earlier this week called on social media networks to do more to purge posts carrying incorrect information about the pandemic or discouraging read 
leaders for taking vaccines that can largely eliminate the risk of the deadly outcome. Samsung Galaxy A22 5G starting price in India will be around 20,000 Indian rupees. But the model with 8GB RAM and a 128GB storage will be available for rupees 21,999 in India. This phone is expected to launch in August in India. The Oppo Reno 6Z 5G smartphone is scheduled to launch on July 21st in Thailand but ahead of its arrival a YouTube channel has unboxed the smartphone. It also reveals most of the details of the upcoming smartphone. Starting with the price, the video claims that the phone is priced at around $410 and it comes in black and silver color options. The smartphone comes in a blue colored box packaging which includes the handset, a 30 watt charging brick and a USB Type-C cable and a pair of earbuds. According to the multiple reports that there will be three models in the Honor Magic 3 series based on the fact that three models were submitted for certification. It turns out there will actually be four models according to a new leak for the reliable source. According to the tweet, the models are the Magic 3 software edition which is similar to the Hawaii Mate 40, the Magic 3 which is like the Mate 40 Pro and the Magic 3 Pro and the Magic 3 Pro Plus. The Honor Magic 3 software edition won't feature a Snapdragon Triplet Plus processor but either a less powerful Snapdragon chipset or one from MediaTek. Honor has confirmed that it will announce the Magic 3 series at the global event on August 12th. But we don't know if all the four models will be announced on the global event or not. Garena Free Fire crosses a total of 1 billion downloads on the Google Play Store. According to the reports, the game was the most downloaded game of 2020 and has now crossed around 1 billion downloads on the Google Play Store. That milestone is a representative of the kind of impact the game has had and how it continues to be a popular shooter within the gaming community across the globe. The battle royale genre in the mobile game space is only about to get more competitive with the return of the Battlegrounds Mobile India in the country as well as an arrival of Apex Legends Mobile. Free Fire already has a pretty massive core player base that prefers a game's approach to combat and it will be an interesting to see how the game fares in 2021. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe and follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.